Number 90. Carnosine is a dipeptide composed of the amino acids beta-alanine and histidine. Carnosine is an antioxidant found in foods that is known to resist the effects of glycation. Rank the highlighted protons in carnosine in order of increasing acidity. So what I like to do in these problems, I like to label the pKa values, or at least an approximate range of the pKa values, which makes it easier to rank them. So here we have a carboxylic acid. A regular carboxylic acid with no special groups attached to it has a pKa of around four to five. But when you're dealing with an amino acid, the pKa of the carboxylic acid in the amino acid, it drops down. Much like if you had a halogen, like a fluorine or a, car or a bromine attached to a carboxylic acid, the electron withdrawn effects would have reduced the pH. Now we do have a nitrogen, which is electronegative, and it's on the alpha carbon of the carboxylic acid. So that's going to reduce the pH, I mean the pKa of the carboxylic acid. So when you're dealing with amino acids, the pKa of the carboxylic acid is around 2 to 3 somewhere in that range. Now this is a dipeptide, which is two amino acids joined together through an amide linkage. This part here is beta alanine. This part here is the histidine amino acid. Now the amino group of an amino acid, what's the pKa for that? The pKa for most protonated amines is usually around 10, sometimes 10 to 11. But in the context of an amino acid, it's a little bit less, it's like 9 to 10. So if you were to put 10, it's a good ballpark range. Now the alpha proton adjacent to the carbonyl group of an amide, that has a pKa of around 30. If this was a ketone, this would be like 19. If this was a, an ester, this would be 25. But for an amide, the alpha hydrogen, which is one carbon away from the carbonyl group, has a pKa of 30. Now this one, I mean, here we have a regular carbon, but it is one carbon away from the double bond. So this should be similar to an alkane carbon, but the pKa is probably going to be a little bit less, because if we put a negative charge here, it could delocalize into this ring. But nevertheless, even those hydrogens, like allylic hydrogens, the pKa is still pretty high. So this could be anywhere in a range of 40 to 60. Because even if we do put a negative charge here and need to localize to this spot, we're still dealing with a, a very unstable carbonine, even if that negative charge is shared among two carbon atoms. Now, what about this hydrogen atom on the imidazole ring? Histidine has three pKa values. For the carboxylic acid, it's around 2-ish. For the amino group, it's around 9 to 10. But for the imidazole of a histidine ring, it's around 6. So this is going to be somewhere between 6 and 7. So with this information, we can now rank the acidity of each highlighted proton. So we want to go from least acidic to most acidic. So we're going to start with proton C. That's going to be the least acidic. Next, proton B. And then after that, we have proton A, proton D, and then proton E. So the carboxylic acid proton, that's going to be the most acidic proton in carnosine. It has the lowest pKa. 
Next is the imidazole proton, and then it is the ammonium proton, or the amino proton, and then it's the alpha hydrogen next to the amide, and finally this proton right there.